Okay, good morning. Welcome to yet another webinar series from the Auspices of Business Research Consult. Today, we are presenting the 15th edition of this series. And uh, today we'll be talking about community service. We want to look at the benefits of community service beyond career rewards. Most of you lecturers, academics will agree with me that in Nigeria, we always see community service as just for promotion. The activities we do just to be promoted. But today, our resource person, a professional for excellence, is also an academic, and he has worked and read and researched in the area of corporate social responsibility, sustainability, and partnership. He's no other person than Dr. Lushola Ajide. He's the chief executive officer of the Bridge UK. He's also a lecturer at Aden University and a governor at Robert Gordon's College UK. He has won several, he has read several in several countries, among which include Malaysia, United Kingdom, and Nigeria. And he has also won uh, the Hall Prize Global Accelerator Award for his mentees. So he is no other person to talk about this topic than him. We believe we will do justice and we'll have so much to take away after today's lecture. Dr. Olishala, you have the stage, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me uh, today. Let me share. So thank you so much, sir, um, Dr. Aziz Lawal. It's an honor and a privilege uh, to be able to share with us today some thoughts that I have. Sorry, how many minutes do I have? So that I don't and take 45 to one hour for the discussion, then maybe 15 minutes for Q&A, sir. Okay, all right, thank you so much. Okay, so thank you very much uh, everyone for the privilege. I really appreciate uh, the Business Research Consult for the opportunity to share uh, some of uh, our experience. I think I count it an honor. And interestingly, like um, if you don't know, I am from Kwara State. I am from Igbo uh, in a fellow the local government of Kwara State, which is about almost 30 minutes from Lauren over there. Just if you get to Idofio, you get to see the place to, to where I am from. So I'm, I'm a, like some will say, Sean of the Shoy. <laughs> so it's a, it's a privilege uh, and an honor to, to be part of this. So today, um, I would just like to share so this, the aim of today uh, is not to be the aim of today is just a possible template, a possible template for you uh, in your immediate environment where you exist and where you are currently operating as an uh, academic or as a postgraduate student or as an undergraduate student to provide a template that you can use to make a positive impact on your journey, even while you are on earth. So who am I? Like you've heard, I'm Dr. Lushola Gide. I'm an academic, I'm a research, researcher on corporate social responsibility, sustainability, community engagement. So when it comes to the issue of how can we make positive impact in the community, what I, I do and with all the things which we, we do. All right, good. So rethinking the benefits of community service beyond career rewards. And I'm, I'm, I'm giving an insider perspective. In other words, what I do and, and what drives what I do. So um, if you're a student, uh, you can type I want you to be very engaging. So if you're a student, if you're a recent graduate, if you are employed, if you are unemployed, whatever category you find yourself, if you're an academic, uh, I want you to please put a comment, type based on if you're an academic, for a student, one in the, in the comment section. If you're a recent graduate, put two. If you are employed, put three. In other words, if you're an academic, if you put three in the comment. I like to be engaging even as we as we as we as we go along. 
Thank you. So I, I like to open my conversation with, with this, to ask this question, what does success look like to you uh, as an academic, uh, as a student, or as a postgraduate student, what does success look like to you? How do you know uh, when you uh, have become successful? Uh, what can you not do to attain success? In other words, uh, what are the guidelines, restrictions, or uh, your, 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 your view to life? I can say, okay, when it comes to one, two, three, I cannot do this in order to achieve success. So as an academic, for example, what can you not do? In other words, what's the guide to how you become successful as an academic, either in your publication, either in your mentoring or in your relationship with your students, with the people that you supervise or the people you have opportunity of being responsible for? What can you not do uh, to attain success? What is the guidelines? That's that's what these are questions I want you to reflect on as we go along. Okay, I always also want to ask this very important question because these questions are very important, and it will, it will be a guide for you to help you. Important questions: Who are you? Uh, and this refers to the place of your identity. Do you know your identity? The question of where are you from? What's the source? of you, because if you have a, an, a good understanding of this answer to these questions, it puts everything in perspective. It, it guides everything you do. And also, why are you here on earth? Why do you exist on earth? And that talks about your purpose. Discovering your purpose puts everything in context. And also the aspect of what can you do? the potential you have, either as a student or as an academic. All these are very important questions I want you to reflect on. And also the great, where are you going? Uh, this earth, you're going to be here for a particular period of time. So where are you going after leaving this earth? We'll not be here forever. And so these questions are very important. It, if you begin to reflect on these questions, uh, it will change your perspective and, and change your the way you do your work and the way you do your research and the way you do your work even as a student. It's, it's important to look at, at that. All right, good. I just want to look at quickly who is an academic because uh, today we are speaking in the space of academia. So who is an academic? We're looking, talking about what happens within a university. Uh, an academic is a general professional title um, that is granted to individuals who have completed their education at a university or a similar institution of higher learning who engage in research. They engage in research. In other words, they carry out research for a purpose. With a with sole aim. And not only do they do that, th this research, they also engage in original study to contribute to their academic area, to contribute to the area where they are, maybe in the area of human resources. They do research on how to ensure human capacity development, human resources. How do we advance that area of, of, of study? or even if it is in the engineering section, like we we're just speaking earlier now of uh, my friend, who is now the vice chancellor of um, um, Summit University, I think in Ofadea, uh, who we met while we were in Malaysia studying together, uh, who his research of mechatronics have helped him to advance and make research to advance the area of mechanical and electronics and how that can help in bringing a change to national development, to, to helping the military. You could see this kind of, this work to talk about, want to talk about an, as an academic. And I hope this is your perspective and this is the view you see or you have to the work you do. 
original study to contribute to the academic area in which they have received their degrees. So you are trying to contribute to the academic area where you receive your degrees, but more than that, you are trying to com communicate and contribute to the society. You want your research to mean something. You don't want your research to just be on the shelf of your library, in the, in the library or in your own shelf at home. Like when I was doing my PhD, somebody said, I got that story, I said that there are only two people <laughs> who will care to read your research, <laughs> your external examiner, and also um, because he's forced to read your supervisor. <laughs> so you want to ensure that your research does not end, uh, just to be read by your external examiner, and your supervisor, you want to ensure that what you've done, the research you've carried out, has positive impact in the society where you exist. And that's what, and the frame of what we are going to be uh, discussing uh, today. So why? And why, what do I mean by why? Why did you choose to be an academic? If I may ask that question. Why did you choose to be an academic? If you are a student, either undergraduate or even postgraduate, why did you choose to go back to be a postgraduate student? Why? Why is this important? It's important for you to know your why, because if you know the why, it will affect the way you do your research. It will affect the way you do your studies as a student. It will affect the kind of research you do. It will affect the outcome of your research. It will affect your model and modus operandi of how you carry out your research. So please evaluate and think why. Why are you an academic? Why are you a student? Because it's important. This is important because it will premise how you do what you do and the impact that what you do delivers at the end of the day. So again, I come back to what do you think is the most important thing in life? what do you think is the most important thing in life? How I wish that you can just give me a comment in the, in the, in the uh, or you can open your mic and say it. If you think you are, you, are, you can open your mic and, and say, what do you think is the most important thing in life? What is the most important thing in life? Anybody going for it? What do you think is the most important thing in life? Do you think uh, your job is the most important thing in life? Or do you think your certificate is the most important thing in life? This is important. This is very important because you look at what I'm premising today. We are looking at rethinking the benefits of community practice, community of practice, what's the community service. So for you to be able to revisit and look at your own area of life and your own life and the impact of community um, service or the benefit of what you do, your answering this question would help you to know if you are on the right direction or if you are in the wrong direction. If your view, your world view, it's, is, is a correct one or not a correct one. So that's my answer for you. My answer to you, I argue, is values are the most important thing in life. The values you have are the most important thing in life. Why? You will see as we go along, because your values dictate your behavior. Your value 
dictates how you behave and what you do. And the question I asked at the beginning, what's the most, uh, what can you not do to attain success? Your value will help you in answering that question. The value you have. If you say to pass exam as a student, if you want to pass exam at all costs, that you can do anything to pass exam, your value will determine. I remember while I was a student um, in, 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 in Kwapoli, um, uh, I, I have high values because as a Christian and as a person of faith, that in dictates what I do. And when it comes to the exam, you see people trying to, you know, they write a lot of things on their body to bring in the right paper, to bring in, they do a lot of all those shenanigans, if I like to use that terminology, to bring him into the exam all. And I look at them and I just, I just, I just shake my head. Uh, because uh, based on my own value, if I did not prepare for the exam, I prefer to fail and have a carryover and receive the exam than passing at all costs. And interestingly enough, while in Kwarapoli, um, there was a particular course which they were contributing money. Uh, they were contributing money for this lecturer because they said he wanted to do wedding and so they were contributing money to buy him to buy tire to to buy some uh, tire for his vehicle and also to contribute to buy rice for his wedding and i said it's not it doesn't concern me if he wants to wed he wants to wed <laughs> i don't need to give him money i don't need to contribute for that because that will bring conflict of interest he's my lecturer is going to want to favor me because of uh, the money. I've, and that was what my group were looking for. So I refused to contribute. And interestingly enough, while I was at Korapoli, uh, this habit of teaching and helping people has been there. I was the one teaching the people how to pass that. I can't remember that course now, how to pass that course. I was teaching my colleagues, doing teaching and all those stuff. But surprise, surprise, you don't know what happened. I, still, I failed the course. And people could not believe. Say, how did you fail the course? You are the one teaching us the course. So I failed the course. The year after that, I was the one that taught the, the, the new students who were a year after us. I was the one that taught them the course. And I told them, well, you'll be surprised I'm teaching you this course. I'm also going to do this this course with you on the day of the exam. So I wrote that exam again. Why? Because of my values. Because I felt that it's not right to give money to the lecturer for him to pass without judging if the student actually did the work. So you see the point I'm painting here, the picture I'm painting here. Your values, your values, it dictates how you live your life. It dictates the kind of work you do. It dictates the kind of research you do. It dictates everything. Some people do research and based on their research, they cooked up, they cooked up, you know, results. The results are not directly from the research. Values, I argue, are very important. So what are values? So values are principles, standards of behavior. It, is, it will also be classified as your judgment of what is important in life. Your values are what you classify as important in life. So your principles or standards. So what's Principles do you have as a lecturer? What principle do you have as an academic? What principle do you have in your relationship with, as a male gender, with your female students and your female 
supervisee, supervise the ones who are supervising values. There's a need for principle. There's a need for standard. Good behavior is, is important. And why is this very important in the, in the context of what we're looking at today? Because also when you begin to do your research and you are thinking of how your research will change society, how your research will impact society, how your research will you know, impact people, these values are the ones that will be influencing your decision as you begin to do your research, as you begin to plan for a research of what you want to do and how, what change you want to make. So your values are the things you believe are important in the way you live and you walk. Your values are the things that you believe are important in the way you believe and you do your work. As a lecturer, do you choose to spite your colleagues or you choose to make unnecessary lies about your colleague for you to advance, for you to get favor and become a, a reader or become a professor. So what are your values? It's important that you evaluate and reassess your values because it will determine how you do your work and how you live your life. So two type of values are needed. Uh, the, that, because values are determinant of the satisfaction you get. Or values are the determinants of the purpose you fulfill on life, in life rather. Values are determinant of the impact you make as an academic or as a student or a postgraduate student. So don't think because I'm a student, I cannot make any impact. You can make impact because like we're going to see, I'm going to argue later. There are problems everywhere and you can be the solution to that problem. So values are also a determinant of the financial reward on earth. <laughs> like um, I was speaking to Dr. Uh, Aziz earlier, and it was mentioned in some of the things and the opportunities of what he's doing. It is easy. The other type of the value, apart from what influences your life, value also is what you deliver in which you get financial reward. So the amount of value you deliver is equivalent to the amount of money you make on earth. If you deliver more value to people, they will, they would, um, they will give you more money. I don't, I don't know why this, <laughs> this word is coming to my head now. I don't know why it's coming to my head, but you please <laughs> excuse me. Uh, it's just like, Peregi, you know Peregi? Beregi of Gary, and it all just came to my head now. The person giving you a Beregi of Gary when you go to purchase Gary is the amount of value you receive. You receive the value of Beregi Gary from the person and you give the person your money. In the same way, even as academics, is the amount of value you deliver to Al Ikma University if you are from that. University, or you're from Cross State University, or you're from University of Illinois, or whatever, wherever you come from, it is the amount of value you deliver that will, del that will determine the amount of money you get. So values are very important. I hope you are getting the drift and my, my line of thoughts and my line of arguments, even as, I do, as, as we go along. So what are the areas that you need to begin to pay uh, attention to? It is this aspect of you need to pay attention from today. I'm hoping that from this session today, you begin to reevaluate your values. And that values begin to influence your family life, influence the way you do your work at Al Ikma University, 
and whatever university you are from and would influence how you are as a student, how you do your coursework. And do you just plagiarize? Uh, how you do, your, your value will begin to influence, you will begin to change. It will influence your, as an investor, what do you invest in? If you invest at all, your value, do you invest in uh, ammunition com companies that have negative impact in, let's look at Ukraine. Ukraine now has been under bomb and shell. Some companies have, we're going to produce those ammunitions. Do you invest in those kind of ammunitions that is having negative impact that people are using? to destroy lives. So your values, your values, your values. Can you see how it transcends every area that you're not even thinking about? Your environment, your values also. How do you deal with the environment? Uh, by the grace of God, I'm the uh, president of Nigeria Environmental Society, UK chapter. And it's also this aspect of values of how we deal with our environment. As a stakeholder, in whatever organization you find yourself, your values play a very important role. So let me again engage you. If you have exhibited positive values in those areas before or if in your research or outside the academia, you've done something based on positive values, good values, type four and put it in the comment section. Type four and put it in the comment section. If you've exhibited positive values in your family life, in your, in your academia, in your employment, in your investing, in your environment, and even as a stakeholder, type four and put in that while I go ahead. Now, <clears throat> I put it to you that it has been made very easy for you. If you are asking that question, say, but sorry, I don't even know what values I have. And I don't know how my values can make positive impact in my community. I don't know how my values can make impact in the society. I don't know how my values can help me be, make, add benefit community set to co um, community service. The sustainable development goals are already a guide of where you can begin to execute and begin to ex exemplify positive values. The sustainable development goals are pointers of, of what we want to see, a better what we want to see. And you can choose any of these one and say, okay, I want my research, I want my va new value to begin to impact my research, and I want my research to make positive impact in this area. So it could be number one, you are fighting against poverty. If your research is on agriculture, you want to, so okay, I want to do a research and ensure that my, my, the value and the outcome of my research will be to no poverty or zero hunger. Number two, number three, good health and well-being. You want to do research, to ensure that there's good health or quality education. Like, thank God it's this an academic institution. So what kind of research are you doing? You want to begin to do research on pedagogy. You want to begin to do research on active learning, which is my, my master's research and dissertation was on active learning because I'm passionate about teaching active learning. So, what are you? Do you want to ensure students are engaged? Or number five, gender equality. You don't want there to be disparity if you are in HR on income of um, female lecturers to academic to male lecturers, income of, uh, 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 of CEOs to female CEOs, gender parity, or clean water and sanitation. You want your research or affordable, so you could see, these are various suggestions to say, when you have determined and decided that, okay, I have changed my values, I want to, that going forward, I want to be adding value to the community or to the society, and I want my research to begin to influence and bring this positive change. These are areas you could uh, consider in 
making impact. And you will definitely be, your research will then be having positive impact in the community and in the society. So what are the attitudes required for you to make an impact in your community so that you, you don't forget our topic. You are rethinking the benefits of, of community service, doing something for the benefit of the community. Uh, more than just, excuse me, the, more than just the fact that I'm, I'm doing a career, I'm doing anything. So I, I, I argue and I proceed to you that these attitudes are important. These attitudes are important in what you do to be able to, for community service and community benefit, appreciation. You need to have an impact and appreciative, appreciate everybody for what they do. It's a good way. And I think it will help. Comprehension. You need to stand and think to comprehend and know what people do and see how that helps you. Opportunities. Look for opportunities to make positive impact. We've listed the, the sustainable development goals. What opportunities are there in your university, in your community? Like in one of the shows I, I run a, uh, an online show, and I normally tell people, I say that uh, you were born to solve a problem. You were born to solve a problem. There are problems all around where you are staying. Look for those opportunities. There's this, there's this code and the pandemic of add drugs in Nigeria now among the youth. There's this court and the challenge of flooding in Nigeria now. There are other scourges, other challenges. Look for opportunities of how you can be a change maker, a change agent. And then you'll be delivering positive community value, positive community benefits to the people. Integrity is important. Integrity, morality is important. Being people-centered. Don't, don't be in the habit of using people. Don't use people like orange and throw them away. Appreciate people. Develop positive, good, clean relationship with people and appreciate them. So these are just some attitudes you, you, that will be helpful for you. So I just want to give an example uh, uh, these are not academic, but you could understand based on the backdrop of the sustainable development goals. So you can now begin to look at your own research and begin to think of, okay, how can I also make impact in my own research? How can I also bring change and transformation in my own research? These are examples of somebody making positive impact. That's Adedoke Lassisi. You could see, you guess, can you guess what she's wearing? What's the material that was used to create what she's wearing? Uh, do you know? You can open your mic and speak up if you know. Well, because of my time, uh, I would let, let, let you into it. You could see she's made bags, the cloth she's wearing, she's made shoes, she's made sandal, she's made everything. What, what did she use to do that? She's Ala Shofi. So now you can see the machine at the, uh, beside her. She is a weave, she weaves clothes, Ashofi, which is a, a local um, uh, uh, clothes made in that area, you know, in the Western Yoruba cultural uh, where I come from. But she brought about innovation, ingenuity, to say, instead of using the line years to do that, she came up with new material that can be used to make clothes and bags. And what is that new material? Can you see she's done clock also? That is it, what she used. Now you know what that is. Sachet of pure water. Sachet of pure water was used to produce the cloth she's wearing, produce the bag she's holding, the slippers, and everything, sachet of pure water. That is impact. That is community benefit. That is community service, environmental sustainability through 
what she's doing. In the same way, as an academic, you can do the same. You can make a positive impact as an academic or as a student. So that, that's part of what we're talking about, being concerned. This is another person. She's in Kenya. See what she's holding. You could see behind her, she's creating interlocking stones, making impact based on her research, based on what she's doing. You could see her creating interlocking, interlocking stones using waste, recycled plastic. Another person also in Kenya, she, she used, this was a banker, she resigned her banking profession and began to create these fences to help sustainable fence for people not using wood. That's not wood. You guess what? When, what was it used to do it? You can see it is waste material. Plastics also, see what it's used to, to be able to create sustainable environments. So what are we talking about? Your values determine your behavior, determine what you, the impact you make, and in the area where you want to make impact. And I've suggested to you the 17 sustainable development goals to bring to see where you can make impact in those areas. So what's next? Connect with people of good value. Well and champions of good value. Make sure that the people that associate your friends are people of good values, good positive values that are also conscious of making positive impact in the society. Assess your unique gifts and strengths and interests. There are things that you are inheriting you and those things can help you to make positive impact. Assess available problems and opportunities. Like I said earlier, around you, there are problems. There are, there, are, there are things you can do as an academic. There are changes you can bring in your institution. There are, you can improve processes. I remember um, while I was at uh, Oka, I served, I did my NYC in Anambra State. Uh, while I was Oka, I, I looked, what, what, what can I do? What problem? One of the things I tried to use my experience of making impact was to change the manual uh, calculation of student GPA with a colleague of mine, a friend of mine who is good at, uh, right, we wrote a program, he wrote the program. I was the one that midwife that conversation of using the system to calculate GPA, adding value to processes, improving processes, you know, improving processes. And also, while I was also that at Oka in Andazico University, where I also had my progressive diploma, I also was able to look at how can I teach and enhance people how to use the computer? You see, adding value anywhere you find yourself. It's important. If you have good values, anywhere you find yourself, if they throw you into a um, uh, uh, desert, you will deliver value there because your value will change everything about you. So be consistent with your inner goodness and ethical principles. It's important to have inner goodness and ethical principle. And I, like I told you, I'm a person of faith. Seek to please God with your body, spirit, and soul. Seek to please God in everything you do. Don't just do things because of money. Money will finish. Even if they give you one billion pounds, it will finish. Seek to please God in everything you do. It's important. All right. So my conclusion, before I show you um, some guidelines to what you can do, and how, what, some pointers to values that you can have. Until your life choices are driven by positive values, your existence has no meaning. You just come to this world and you pass. For purpose is a source of fulfillment. So until when you fulfill purpose with your research, fulfill purpose with what you do, fulfill purpose in your family, fulfill purpose in your academic institution or wherever your association you find yourself, there's no meaning. So the purpose of your existence is to make positive impact. It is then you can have satisfaction. So uh, let me just drop this here. I have a career, I normally do a career session. I run 
a job club uh, under the, the, uh, the auspices of the bridge, the UK, uh, we run a career mentorship program that we help people to get jobs. We have series of people to find jobs and to find employment. So uh, I support people to and we find people jobs in supported people to find jobs with the NHS, with the Deloitte, with JP Morgan, with the UK Ministry of Defense. So in case there's anybody who has that need of, and I'm planning for a workshop coming up, uh, is a paid is going to this was a, a free workshop I did last year to help people and support people. But this year is going to be a paid workshop which coming in, uh, coming on very soon. So that's what we have today. So questions and answers. Now, before I take questions and answers, I'll just quickly run through my other staff, some slides um, quickly, just to demonstrate what you are saying, demonstrate what you are talking about, the issue of value. Uh, so if you don't know how, what are your values? This is just some steps to help you to define your values. Some things that would help you to define values. Number one, identify the times when you were happiest. Identify the times when you were most proud. Identify the times when you were most fulfilled and satisfied. What was it you did? Determine your top values. What are the things that makes you happy? Based on your experience of happiness, pride, and fulfillment, then you need to be able to prioritize those values. What are the things you valued most? Did you value your family? Did you value to add value to people? Did you value to help other people enhance their skill, make them better? What were those values? So you need to help you discover those values and reaffirm them. And quickly, uh, I have some various values of guides, some suggestions of what could be your a guide to helping you discover what are the things you value. These are just some guidance. If you know where do I fall in this list, that will help you to know your value and know your behavior. If it's a wrong one, then you can need to change. Is, and I'm sorry to say this, but the way it's coming to me is in, in Yoruba, because I'm Yoruba, you know, that kind of life of that is me, that means to say, if you are pursuing someone, if you don't just destroy the person, if whatever, just ensure that you get what you want. That kind of life, that kind of value is not good. It's not a good one. You are not adding any value to the society. You're not being a benefit to the society. So these are just some values. And uh, these are some of the things uh, we've been able to do <clears throat> in the community. Or can you add value in the community? How can you, what can you do to make the society a better place? Here, where in my organization, which are part of uh, where my, my church in particular, where to try to make the place better for children to enjoy that play park. It was becoming grown over weed and we got together to, to clean that. These are other things we do, helping people, helping families that are, have people in the prison, helping those who are unemployed to get back into, into uh, employment in the, you know, in the community. And this was the leader of my council uh, in my Um, I went to meet with him. He was appreciative, and uh, through that, you know, we, we became good, good friends. This the, the, that's the other co-leader of the council on the on the right, and the head of planning. So you you must be doing things that will help you to add value in the community, to add more value, and also uh, some other. And this is this is even more recent. Just about two weeks ago, I had another meeting with the leaders of the council of telling them what we're doing in the community, how we want to do more in the community, how we want to bring change in the community and how they can be of help to us. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope this has been helpful to you uh, to say that the reason for your existence and my existence is to, uh, as academic or as students, is to add value anywhere you go to. Anywhere you find, if you add value, then you are being a benefit. You are adding benefit to the society. You are being beneficial. And I, I didn't mention uh, in the space of two years, uh, I've generated, I'm skilled also by the grace of God in writing grants application. I've secured 36,000 pounds in grants application for community projects and, and benefiting the society. And currently, again, 
another round of looking for about almost 28,000 plants application is in the process now we are looking forward to of, of getting again more to be able to do more things in the community. So you see, it's important that as an academic or as a student or as an individual, you are adding value and benefiting, using your career to benefit the society and not just based on you collecting the salary and spending your salary on yourself. to to be uh, to share today thank you thank you thank you thank you so much doctor this was very enlightening and educative yeah we pray that god increases you in wisdom because this yeah. is also a very is a free webinar and you came so much to give us a lot to learn but before we round it up let's see if our participants can ask you one of the questions or comment sorry you froze in the you said it's a free webinar the last thing i had was sir he said the last time I had you froze for a minute. Okay, said, okay. I said, uh, we thank you for coming without being paid. You gave us a free webinar for our participants. This is also part of community oh. service. May God reward you abundantly. Amen. So Amen. we'll you. just entertain questions from our participants so that or comments. If you can, if you want to speak to the uh, the lecturer, you can unmute yourself or you type in the chat box so that we read it out for him. Okay, participants. All right, doctor, I want to ask your, your program. How do we participate from okay, Nigeria? Sir. The one on job and all that you just told us about. Okay, um, the, the one for the, the job ones now, we... It's going to be a webinar. It's going to be on, on through Zoom. So people can register for that and we can provide support to them. Uh, we've been able to help more than 85 people find employment in the space of three years. So uh, we can help if there's anybody looking for a job already, you're already employed. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe our, or perhaps, I think we, I, I know we know something, like perhaps you want to become a professor. I have knowledge on that also, helping people to scale, okay. to scale in their career, packaging people up and guiding them executive coaching experience to help them to pivot to the higher responsibility. So we also provide, I can, I can at least, with my experience as an academic and as far as a career consultant, we can be able to, you know, uh, provide that support. And if somebody has not even found a job before, we can provide support to help the person to be able to uh, show, have a good CV, show up and present. And even if, like I teach people in the, the, the blog, even if the person does not have an experience, the person can still get a job. It depends on knowledge. It depends on packaging. It depends on how the person presents themselves at the place of interview, how they argue, how they are more convincing. Uh, it, it depends on how they do that. So they can, they can still get, uh, get, get a job. Right, so much, it, at least now you have my contact, and you have my phone number, just any assignment for me, I, I'm ready. We are, we are most grateful, sir. Thank you for your time. Uh, I hope, I pray that by the special grace of God, We'll see more of you. We know how we've been, you've been impacting the world. And we pray that God also increases you in knowledge, wisdom, and good health. Amen. It's a pleasure having you around. Amen. Amen. Since Amen. we don't have questions. If there's any assignment for me. Okay, sir. If there's any assignment for me by Al Ikma University, I'll be privileged. Like I told you, I did for Kwara State University last yes. year at Malete. So if there's any assignment for us, we are we are open to All right. because. Uh, like I told you, I'm from Kwara State, so whatever we can do to help the institution, to help the university, to progress, to advance, I think we can do all in the space of this talk we are talking about, adding ben is community service, helping the community, helping the university to advance, you know, which will increase the ranking of the university, 
increase the quality of students, increase the quality of staff, increase the teaching experience of students, mm -hmm. so that at least one day, Ali Ikma will also be on the, the league of international universities. You know, it's, it's impossible. It's, actually, it's not impossible. It's possible to do that. But there are things and metrics that must be used to ensure that we get to that point. Okay, thank you for your time, sir. Since we don't have questions, I think we'll call it a day. Uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day ahead, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. It's All right. Anna. Thank you, thank participant. You. Thank you for All joining. Right. All right. Bye. Bye.